right. We have Muhammad. Go ahead, Muhammad. Why do you hate Islam? Why well, hate Islam? How are you doing, Ultimate Fort? What? What is what is your name? Muhammad. Your name is Muhammad. What Muhammad mean? Uh, prophet of Allah. Is the name Muhammad mean Prophet of Allah? So you are Prophet of Allah? No. Why you are squeezing your voice? I'm not uh, squealing my voice. All right. So what Muhammad mean? Muhammad, what the what the word mean? I I don't know. I think it's Prophet of Allah. Oh, okay. So you are a Muslim? Yes. What uh, what does that mean? What a Muslim mean? Who you you worship? Who? Submit to Allah. You submit to how you submit to Allah. You submit your will. How how you do that? How you do that? What will do you? The Muslim don't believe in will, free will, because you, according to Muslim, you believe in qadr. Is that correct? Yes. Okay. So what will? How you can submit your will if you have no will? How you submit something you don't own? So if you believe in destiny, which is al qadr. Then you cannot submit anything. So submitting is a is a false word. It does not exist. You can submit your will if you are free, but if you believe in full destiny, Allah He wrote for you, then it doesn't matter what you do. It's not your will anyway. So you submit nothing. So you are fooling yourself, my friend. We believe in free will and destiny. Can you show me one verse in the Quran says you believe in a free will? No. Okay, do you want me to show you verses in the Quran saying you believe in destiny? Yes, I know that. I know that already. So why you are saying to me, I be, we believe in free will, if the Quran says, no, you don't. It's only because what Allah, will. it's only what Allah wants, not what you want. This is what Islam because is. We will, because we will be judged one day. No, how you can, how this is false, because you, how, that's mean Islam is stupid. How you can be judged if you have no will to be judged. That means... No, that means we have will. No, Allah, he wrote for you. Hey, let me show you. You see, if somebody, okay, let me make it simple for you. If somebody did not believe Islam, was it his will or the will of Allah? His will. The will of who? The, the person who worships, he does not worship Allah. Ah, okay. So, so why the Quran here is saying, here, Chapter 6, verse number 107. Had Allah willed, they would not have participated adultery. This is, this is not, uh, this is the will of Allah. The will of Allah, they, yes. they will do worship. This is the will of Allah. So what do you mean free will? Then if we go, you will see your prophet saying, or even we can go to the, in the Quran, we will find other verses. Uh, uh, let us say as an example, uh, let us see here first. <clears throat> when Adam he committed sin, did he commit sin as a free will, or Allah he forced him to commit sin? Are you with me? Yes. So did Adam commit sin, or Allah made destiny for him to commit sin? Which one happened? Uh, it was destined. So, sin is destiny. So how he will be judging you in the judgment day? How you say to me that you will be judged in the judgment day, and this is the proof of free will. So how Allah will judge you if he is making you, in your destiny, commit sin? How that work? Because Allah can do whatever He wants. Oh, but this is that's mean your God is a crazy. He forced you to commit sin, and then He will punish you for what He forced you to do. <laughs> Where is justice? So you Muslims have a false names for your God. You call Him Al Adil, which means the just. But as you see, He is not just, because if this is ju if Allah is just, He will not punish you for a sin you did not do. Something you if you know if you are in the army, and the captain who command you to shoot. The soldier he did not commit a crime. It is the captain who commands. The soldiers you have to obey, 
And here we go, Adam, he have no choice. So he have to commit sin because Allah, he forced it to happen. So why Adam or all of us, we will be punished for a sin we did not do. It was Allah's sin. Because Allah can do whatever he wants. Oh, well, this is an answer proof that Islam is satanic because only shaitan can do whatever he wants with, 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 uh, with no ethic. Because what you are saying to me, Allah is a shaitan. And because he's a shaitan, he can do everything not ethical. You see, we are not talking here about Allah or God he can create. No, no, we are talking here about someone. He is playing games with us. He is misleading us. He is fooling us. He is asking us to pray, to pray and ask for forgiveness. When in fact, it's already destiny. So you go to hell, you go to heaven. It doesn't matter if you pray, you convert, you don't convert. It's always destiny. So your God, Allah, is shaitan. Do you agree? If Allah wants to be shaitan, he can do whatever he wants, man. Okay, so Allah, he but Allah here, he is not, he, he don't want to be shaitan. He is shaitan. Because shaitan is the one who convinced you that you, when you commit sin, I, I believe this is story here, is just to convince us that you cannot resist shaitan. Shaitan is in charge. I call Allah. So now the Muslim will submit to the will of shaitan. So when you say you are submitting, you are surrendering yourself to the will of shaitan. You have no will no more. And now you believe if you fornicate, it was Allah made you do it. If you kill, Allah made you do it. If you steal, Allah made you do it. So now you don't feel guilty because Allah made you do it. This is the whole point of Islam. Islam is to justify evil and make you believe in destiny of evil. So evil you have done, it's not you who did it. It was Allah. Right? What's, well, what's wrong with that? Well, guys, he is saying, what's wrong with that? I say this is very wrong because this is satanic. And you agree with me. Uh, if, if God cannot be just, so what, so what? how shaitan is a bad person then? If Allah, he is doing all the evil work to deceive people. What, what shaitan is job in Islam? Nothing. In fact, Muhammad, he says, shaitan is a Muslim. Is it true that shaitan is a Muslim? No, because he disobeys Allah. No. Here we go. Shaitan, he worship Allah, and he call him my God. Here we go. Read with me. And not only that, he obey Allah, and he have an ag agreement with Allah. You see my screen? Yes. All right. Here it says, <clears throat> in chapter 15, verse number 39, did Shaitan call Allah my God? Yes? Yes. So Shaitan is a Muslim, right? Yes. And who is the one who lured Shaitan to be Shaitan? Allah. Okay. So Allah is shaitan. Somebody yes. saying the screen is not working. Guys, do you see my screen? Do you see my screen or no? Screen is a frozen. Somebody saying screen is a frozen. Give me a second, please. Let me see what's happening. All right. Okay, what about now? People are rambling on YouTube. Do you see it better? All right. So my um, uh, our friend here, Muhammad, he said uh, that yes, Shaitan is a Muslim. But who is the one who deceived Shaitan to be Shaitan? Muhammad. Is it Allah. true? Allah. Okay, so guys, Shaitan himself is a victim of Allah. <laughs> Adam is a victim of Allah. Everyone commits sin in this earth is a victim of Allah. So who is the true Shaitan? Allah. Shaitan. No. If Shaitan is a victim of Allah, how Shaitan is the true Shaitan? Shaitan is just a victim. He's one of the victims. 
The true shaitan is Allah. It's in the front of you. It says, "Bima awaitani," because you lured me, because you deceived me, because you 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 false me. I became what I am. And yeah, but we're talking about the creator of everything. What the creator of everything? Your God, he cannot create a mosquito. Oh, we can prove it in two seconds. Isn't it your God? If the, if the... But isn't it your God? He think that hail is coming from mountains in heaven. No, I don't believe that. Okay, what if I show you that? What you would do? Okay, show me. Nora, read it with me. وَيُنِزِلُ مِنَ السَّمَاءِ مِنْ جِبَالٍ فِيهَا مِنْ بَرَدٍ فَيُصِيبُ بِهِ مَنْ يَشَاءُ So he sent down from the sky, from heaven, from mountains in it, hail, and he hit with it. <laughs> Do you see it? And he sends down from the sky mountains of hail, and he infects with it whom he wills. <laughs> the translation is not too accurate here. So Allah, he sent from mountains in heaven, hail. And he hit with it who he liked to strike. So your God, he think there's flying mountains in heaven. And he break hail from them and he throw it at us. <laughs> it's a frozen again, guys. Are you sure? I don't know why. Let us see what's wrong with this uh, software. Okay, hold on. Yeah, it's frozen again. I don't know why. Hmm. Okay. What we if we say Oprah now here? Okay. What about now? Let me know, please, if it's frozen. So, what do you think, my friend? Do you, yeah, do, you do you do you agree that Allah He sent hail from mountains? And look at the first translation. He says, it says here, He He bring down load of hail from the sky. It doesn't say that. Liars. You see, Muslims, they lie, my friend. This is Itani, a Lebanese Muslim. Look at this. No, they're talking about, he's talking about, uh, he's talking about um, precipitation. Ah, precipitation. Huh? It's, an, it's a weather news. <laughs> no, it says, there are in heaven mountains of hail where he sent down hail and he strike with it. <laughs> Do you see it? Uh, are in the heaven mounds of hail. Uh huh. So how this is the creator? He do not know how hail is made. He think there's mountains of hail. This is chapter twenty four, verse number forty three. And I can show you the interpretation for it. To agree, Allah he believe or he say. There is flying mountains of hail. He break it from it and he throw it at us. What do you think? Yeah, that that's 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 wrong. That's wrong. So Islam, Allah cannot be God then. And if you don't believe me, still, you know, I can show you and confirm from your Islamic website. All right. So this is chapter 24, verse number 43. We will go and see the interpretation. 24. 43. Read with me. He sent down. Do you see the screen? Yep. And he sent down from heaven out of mountains Min jibalin fiha, min extra mean there in in heaven. Do you see it? So Allah He sent, mm -hmm. Allah He sent hail from mountains in heaven to strike with it. And who is talking? This is Tafsir al Jalalain. And this is the official government website of the Kingdom of Jordan. Ahlul Bayt Institute Islamic Thought, Amman, Jordan. You see it? So this yes. is so this is the God you think he is a God? How that can be God? What do you think? I 
And I will post the link for people at Ramble in YouTube so people can see. And they can read. Yeah, that is off. That is just, yeah, that's garbage. But you just said the Quran is garbage now. Are you out of Islam, my friend? That's, that's just garbage translation. No, this is not garbage translation. This is what it is. <laughs> I speak Arabic. It's in the front of me. It says, Yunziru min as min jibarin fiha, min jibarin fiha, from mountains in it. Let me show you. Here we go. I will highlight the words. Min, min from, Jibal, mountains, fiha, in it. Okay, so I will just translate this part alone. Look with me. Of the mountain in it, do you see it? What is in it? Hail. <laughs> so he sent down, let us translate now more. He sent down from the sky mountain of hail, and he infected with it whom he wills. How that can be from God? Do you have any friend? He is a sheikh. He can join us. No. Do you know the Not guy? Right now. Do you know the guy? He, his name is Sheikh Uthman. Do you know his phone number? You can call him to join us. I don't know his phone number. You do not know. Uh, do, what? What? Do you, who is your Sheikh? Why you don't call your Sheikh to join us? Because they're busy. Uh, they are busy doing what? Um, whatever they're doing. Uh, so what do you think now? Are you leaving Islam or you are staying as a Muslim? I will stay as a Muslim. Okay, that's good. I like because it. I believe I believe Allah can do whatever He wants. Allah, He can do this too. He can He He send hail from mountains in heaven. If Allah wants to lie, he can lie. If Allah wants to deceive, he can deceive. Uh -huh. he, he is the creator of everything. He can do whatever he wants. Well, I don't know. I mean, the, the Quran says Allah, Allah is not the only creator. Isn't it the Quran says Allah is the best of the creators? So how he is the creator? He's the best of creators, yes. So how he is the creator? If he is the best of the creators, that means there's many creators in Islam. How, yes, many, there is. how many creators? I am a cre I, I am a creator. No, you cannot. I create. No, you are not. No, no. What creator? Creator. See, read the verse with me. Here is talking about creating a baby. So when Allah He says He is the best of the creators, He is talking about He is being the best of the creators of the babies. So there is others who create babies, but Allah is the best. So if I say I built this, I built this, I did this. Let's say I'm talking about a house not a human being and then I say I am the best of builders so obviously I'm talking about building houses here is talking about creating babies and then he says he is the best of the creators that mean there's many creators who create babies so the Quran I can create a, I can create a baby no you cannot Reproduction, can, yeah, no, reproduction is not a creation. You, God, who made you in a way that can you, you can reproduce like the tree, like uh, the flowers, like the crops, like the animals. This is not your creation. You cannot. This I can what? create the baby. I can. I no, can. Uh, no, you cannot because I can. Somebody, I can mate no. with someone and have a baby. No, you see, even even that is. You see, you just said you have to have someone, right? So if you are God, you will not need someone. And by the way, you just prove again that Allah cannot be God because your God, Allah, cannot have a baby without having someone, as you said. You said now, if I have someone, like if you have a woman, you can have a baby. Okay, but your God, He said the same. Your God cannot have a baby unless he have a girlfriend. Is that true? Yes. Okay. So how he is God, but he need a woman to make a baby. 
There is not God. God did not need any. You said to me, you keep repeating saying, Allah can do anything. He can do anything. But then suddenly, when it's come to have a baby, he cannot have a baby unless he have a girlfriend. So your God cannot create a baby because he is the same as every man. He need a wife or a girlfriend to sleep with her and then it is possible then to have a baby if he is able to have sex. Okay. So, how is your God is God, but he cannot have a son unless he have a wife. Is he a man like us? If he wants to be a man, he can be a man. Ah, okay. Let us invite another Muslim. Maybe he can help you. Okay.